So if you're even vaguely familiar with what we do here at Apple Valley Farm, we use a lot of plywood. So we have to break that down a lot. I don't have, I, I mean, I'm here in my carport. I don't have a big shop. I've got a little chop saw here. I've got a 10 inch table saw that I kind of move around when I have to. We just don't have a lot of room. I don't, I don't have a permanent space with a lot of wide wings and things like that for my table saw. So when we have to break down plywood, it can be a little cumbersome. I wanna show you how we do this, and it's really not that hard, but if you've never done it before or you're not familiar with it, it might be kind of foreign to you. So today we're gonna to break down a four by eight sheet of plywood into two by four pieces. We're gonna break a four by eight sheet down into four cornhole board tops. Here we go. Okay, so FYI, in general, this is my setup. A couple of long, eight foot long pieces between a couple of saw horses. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just need something to support the plywood as I cut it into pieces. Otherwise, of course, it's gonna wanna fall. So the idea is to have a couple of sacrificial pieces spanning the, the uh, saw horses, then we'll, we'll lay the plywood up on top of that. And that is what we're gonna do now. Okay, I wanna lay this down with the good side up first, then I'm gonna measure for my cut, I'm gonna measure halfway in from each side. Come in just a little, and then way across. All right, I'm gonna take a piece of blue tape, masking tape, it doesn't matter what kind of tape it is really. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this all the way across on the 48 inch mark. And I'll tell you a little more about that in just a second. Okay, I've gone ahead and marked and taped the 24 inch spots on this side also. Now let's flip the whole thing over do it again. Okay, before I tape my middle piece right here, I wanna do a quick thing. I just wanna show you something. So I know when I cut this with my saw, from one edge of the saw plate to the blade is an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna measure out an inch and a quarter from this outside mark, okay? Inch and a quarter, and I'm gonna do that down on the other end also. Now I'm gonna put my straight edge on those marks and I'm gonna clamp it in place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tape off my center spot and I'll tell you why in just a second. Now when I run my saw down this mark, it's going to cut on the tape, obviously. If I don't, even though I've got a fine 60 tooth per inch blade on my saw, even though it's made for plywood and it's gonna give me a great cut and it's a new blade, there's still gonna be tear out on this board. The tape will virtually prevent that. So you wanna tape it on both sides. That way there's no tear out on either side. Now when I cut this, and I'll show you when I finish it, when I pull the tape off, Zip, it'll be perfect. Okay, we went ahead and cut all three sections. Let's take this off and look. Ah, come on. Look at there. When I, uh -oh. look at that. When I pull that off, that that is slick, Jack. Here, let's get the other one. Look at 
look at that. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Yeah, another look here, look at that. I have not touched this with the sandpaper or anything. That looks sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, guys, that's it. I told you this was gonna be easy. So breaking down a piece of plywood with a skill saw, some tape, that's it. And it makes a beautiful, straight, perfect cut, virtually no tear out. I'll hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and that thing will be absolutely perfect. And we can get on to making some jack amazing cornhole boards. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, and remember when you're lifting this plywood, we're only doing half inch plywood the overwhelming majority of the time. And it's pretty heavy. You get into th some three quarter inch stuff, that stuff gets pretty heavy, especially you get some oak or something like that. It really can be heavy. Make sure you're lifting with your legs, not with your back. You've only got one back, take care of it. Hey, thanks a lot. If you have any questions, you have any suggestions, we always have room to learn. Let me know, leave your suggestions or your questions in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, thank you for subscribing, and I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you learned something. Till next time, take care, see ya.